personally, I think we've seen James Wiseman show flashes for the Detroit Pistons. The man really played 25 minutes a night and it fluctuated on the matchup, on who they were playing. And I think Dwayne Casey was the perfect coach for him to have here. And I know Dwayne Casey's gone. And whoever comes next will be able to utilize James Wiseman. And James Wiseman closed the, the season averaging 11 points, you know, almost 49% from the field, averaging six and a half rebounds and 0 0.6 blocks. And for his time with the, the Pistons, he averaged 12.7 points, 53% from the field, ignore the three point shot, eight rebounds, but he was a willing three point shooter, like almost one three a night, eight rebounds, a little bit under assists in a game and about a block a game. People don't realize there was a point where James Wiseman was averaging 17, 10.4 rebounds and 1.1 blocks and 56.4% shooting over a seven game period in just 29 minutes, all right? And I think Wiseman's solid box score production at times and you know showing these sustained flashes of an all around offensive dynamic score is showing that this was a good place for him as He's a guy who can score on the block and, you know, sometimes show the ability to face up jumpers and rake and take in transition. But I think right here, yeah, the Pistons did have one of the worst defenses in the league. And it was fun seeing James Wiseman here getting the reps that he rightfully deserves. And I feel like there was a great quote that I feel like going into this transition it was pretty tough but i embraced everything because i love playing the game of basketball this summer i'm just going to get better in every aspect of my game end quote james wiseman shout out omari Semfoka the second for that quote and that's what i'm saying is that like look this isn't a bad situation for james wiseman all right you're in a situation where we're going to get to see wiseman over here be able to continue to have, I mean, unless they get Victor Wembanyama, that throws a wrench and everything, but they have budding talent in Cade Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Jalen Duran, and James Wiseman. And yeah, they lost 11 straight and the Pistons ended 16 and 64, but they're firmly in, in the race to get the number one pick and maybe even Victor Wembanyama. Again, if they get Victor Wembanyama, maybe it's a future of James Wiseman, Victor Wembanyama, but we know Charles Lee, Kenny Atkinson, Adrian Griffin, M.A. Udoko. There's a bunch of good coaching options out there for them. And I, I do believe that when we look at this, this could be something that ends up being the best for James Wiseman. And it's just going to be a matter of time. But look, I do believe that this is a situation that is good for James Wiseman. But just playing championship on the championship team wasn't good for him because if he made a mistake, they benched him. Here he can play through his mistakes and he's got one more year under contract and then they can even bring him back for another with his qualifying offer. I just think it's good what we're seeing. It's a good opportunity to give him this confidence. And this is this the best we've seen wise when we're actually seeing him out there. And it wasn't a good situation for him in Golden State. It just wasn't. That's what ended up happening. It was unfortunate. It wasn't what we thought it was going to be. They didn't give him the time to develop because they couldn't give him the time to develop because he needed to take a bit longer. And big men are notorious for taking a lot longer to develop than other positions. And that's something that people don't understand. So I'm happy for James Wiseman. They got to show these flashes to us. And I'm excited to see what happens with next season. So that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts if you made it to the end of this video. Hit that like and subscribe button. We're on the way to 20,000 subscribers. And yeah, we post, you know, multiple times a day. I'm about to go to the University of Miami for graduate school over here, ending up my ending my undergraduate in journalism at the University of Kansas. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe.